Okay, so I promised you that we'll have a look at where do the formulas actually come from. So we'll start with the formula for a simple growth. Okay, simple growth. And often when we talk about interest, it will uh, we'll talk about simple interest. And simple growth is a scenario like I have a thousand rand in the bank. Okay, I get um, at ten percent interest, and that interest is simple interest. So let's just assume that now, and that means in my first year, let's draw a little timeline here. Okay, in my first year, I have a time zero when no time is elapsed, a thousand rand in the bank. After one year, I get another hundred rand. So now I've got a thousand one hundred rand. Another year, I get another hundred rand. Where do I get this hundred rand from? Well, I took ten percent of 1000 and that now just gives me 1200 next one will be 1300 every time we're just adding another 100 rand so let's just look at a formula imagine now instead of using the 100 i said okay i have p in my bank account okay now how do i work out my interest well i took my interest rate the i and i multiply it with my investment okay so the thousands my investment so and then I add it so then I multiplied I with P and that was my interest but next year I'm going to get the same amount so next year I've got this again and the year after that I get that amount again so I get the same thing over and over and over over until I get to n whatever n represents n is now a number of years or a number of terms n actually represents the number of times I get interest number of times I get interest okay so now we see the number of times I'm gonna add this IP is going to be n times so it's the same thing added the whole time so I might have just I might as well just multiply so I have initially P plus I plus IP plus IP gives me 2 IP plus another IP gives me 3 IP and this goes on and on for n times so I have n IPs n of them and from here I can now just take out P as a con common factor so I have 1 plus and I'm just changing a little bit around I N okay and this is a formula to work out how much I will have in the bank or in my savings or wherever this money is growing at in the end of the N times I get interest okay so if N represents years after N years this formula will give me the future value of my savings cool that one is quite easy now let's get in the next video we'll get to the more difficult one when my interest is actually compound interest see you in the next one